Today we're working on our senior design project for machine design class. Basically we were asked to uh, try and find a sponsored project and so I knew that uh, Trail Gear would be willing to sponsor us building an axle braking machine. Uh, my name is Madison Weaver and I'm an engineering intern at Trail Gear. I'm currently a senior in mechanical engineering at Fresno State University. But it should be pretty level if we just match it with the top of the piece. My name is Pedro Villalpando and I'm currently a senior at Fresno State University. Uh, graduated in May as a mechanical engineer. We decided to build a machine that can supply more torque and test uh, bigger axle shafts for rock climbing trucks. This is an advanced machine design class where we're instructed to come up with a project that we would like to see, design it and build it from the ground up, something that we complete within the semester and it goes towards our graduation. Uh, we're going to use the axle braking machine to benchmark different types of axles and we're also going to use it to test to see if different processes make the axle stronger or weaker so we can continually improve the axle design. Here at Trail Gear, I've been helping Madison and then with other two team members uh, work on a hydraulic uh, axle tester uh, to improve the current equipment that they have. The downsides to that machine was it only had an 80 degree range of motion so some of the axles would actually twist more than 80 degrees, so you would have to reset the axle in the middle of the test. This machine will allow us to test a greater range of axles because it will be able to provide up to 25,000 foot-pounds of torque, and it also has an increased range of travel. It will be able to twist an axle shaft 340 degrees, which is enough to break almost any axle shaft. From the design to the calculation stage to actually building it, uh, I think it's, it's definitely great and just always being stuck in the classroom and just doing the, the modeling. But when you're actually building, you don't realize how many other troubleshoots you have to do in order to get it working. Working in a team, uh, it's, it's, it's great, you know, you learn from each other. It's not always going to be perfect and smooth, but great collaboration between all four of us. We're going to use data acquisition on the new axle braking machine in order to record real-time data of torque versus the angular twist of the shaft. Uh, Trail Gear uh, sponsored us in this project, so they gave us free reign, basically to buy whatever materials we needed, any sensors, the chain, and the, the ram itself. But yeah, once we get it all straightened out and we get the new gauge in, I was gonna run some dry runs just to see how much torque it takes just to overcome that and then subtract that out. The pulleys are attached to the shaft, and at the start of the test, the chain is wrapped all the way around the pulley. And so as the ram pushes up, it unravels the chain from the pulley, which creates the torque on the shaft. <laughs> 